John Reed, JDOD. Usual suspects, we got Dem behind the camera this time, but he's still opinionated. Uh, we're going to go through our day and a half here. We had uh, Cloud, then we had Mobile, then we had Hanna. So let's do each in a row. Uh, start with Cloud. Cloud story needs to be better told. Uh, the platform unification story is pretty neat. Uh, cloud integration, uh, great story. I, I like the story, but without an acquisition, I'm not convinced that um, a home-built solution will, will hold water. I expected more on the cloud messaging, to be honest. I'm really not sure I know more now than I knew entering the session. So there has to be, the messaging has to be better. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems clear to me they're executing without an apparent strategy. If there is one, then that would be nice to know. So they really need to sharpen up a, a five minute presentation. This is cloud, this is what we're doing, this is what we want to do. The one thing I did take away though was that there was a clear continuing to acquire. So they remain in acquisition mode for line of business enterprise apps. And I thought that was interesting. No question, SAP struggle with the cloud. Uh, it was, I think, that by far the toughest for them of the, of the three segments that we saw. And acquisitions I can see, but the problem that I'm seeing is I just, I want to see a coherent platform that the partners and developers can build on. More depth is and I really need to hear more about that. Yeah. And they're also still struggling with, I think, sweet versus best of breed. Mm -hmm. A lot of challenges around the messaging. Absolutely. All right, let's switch over to mobile where we got in slightly firmer ground, I think. What was your take on the mobile? Well, that's a bit ironic, isn't it, with mobile being what it is. Um, well, for a start, Sanjay is, is a, a great speaker when it comes to communicating a message, even if that message is, is a little bit different to reality. Are you saying that he made you feel kind of warm and fuzzy? <laughs> he, he makes me feel warm and fuzzy. That's what I'm saying. But, but, I, but I took a couple of yeah. things, right? First of all, they fixed the pricing problem. Fantastic. Right. So pricing is no longer complex and impossible and, and impossible to actually sell the product. And given they are selling it, it means that they should sell a truckload more of it. Um, the second thing I took was that the, they got a problem around B2C and how they really deliver apps. There's a disconnect there. So that, But they've got a plan. That was what I, I got from okay. it. Um, and I think the third thing is that there remains an adoption problem, right? So if you say to Sanjay, how many percent of the projects have gone live, he'll say not as many as I'd like. And I think that that's their, that needs to be their number one focus is adoption. Okay. Faster than John. I'm not sure I can do that, but I'll uh, try to speak very fast. Now, um, I like the messaging a lot more. It was well structured on the capabilities of the platform, the pricing, especially like what we're going to hear soon coming TechEd and Subfire will make a lot of developers happy. Um, I think adoption is still an issue. We need m to hear more on how those great new platforms are going to be adopted by customers. But other than that, I like the story. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sanjay was awesome. Pricing was awesome. Um, and the way I see it, m mobile device management, the Feria story is pretty solid. And that buys SAP some time to work on the application side. Mm. So I think they can use that. Did you guys get a sense real quick of when the pricing stuff is going to be more announced publicly? Because I think not all of that was. Are they going to announce that pretty soon? Well, I asked them specifically, okay. and they said that that pricing model is available now. That's okay, what they said. great. And finally, I'll just add that the gateway stuff, which is so important to engaging non-SAP developers, it looks like they're finally going to get that sort of probably by the end of the year, I yeah. think. Okay, so let's do a quick wrap on the HANA database tech uh, ha half day we had today. Um, HANA, uh, for me, you know, I, I didn't find anything new that I didn't know before. Um, the mixed workload scenario, uh, you know, I don't quite agree that it's it's uh, it's all out there today as it was explained to us. But I think it's it's a good story, well told. It just needs to uh, fit into the what's in it for developers. What's what's the future? That part needs to be more solved. Yeah, I agree with uh, with Vijay on that. Um, we only heard a little bit, but what we heard, I already heard before. It was just rehashing, repolishing the messaging, the analogy with uh, gaming systems. I'm not a big fan of that, but I can see the appeal. Um, other than that ERP on HANA, I don't think it's the Halo game that they think it's going to be. Time will tell. Yeah, I mean, I actually really like Steve's uh, elevator pitch. I think it's it's clear and concise, and it makes sense to people. It makes sense to customers. They're betting the. You would buy from Steve. I, uh, yeah, you, yeah. I buy from Bill first, and then Steve. But uh, there we go. But I I think they're betting the town on ERP on HANA, whether we like it or not. And, that, and that's the fact. They've got 20 ramp-up customers. They've told us that. And they're, they're, those ramp-up customers are focused on high-value scenarios like MRP. The, the question is, and the challenge for SAP, they have to communicate the value by line of business, by industry, so people get it and they buy it. If they don't do that, they're shot. Yeah, I think there's definitely that last battle between 
platform versus database that has yet to be fully resolved as you blog before the conference. And we're not going to solve that in this shoot, guys, so I think that's it. <laughs>